Yo, what's good everybody? It's Barl here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your clips while also streaming with Streamlabs OBS. So that way your overlay isn't over your clips, so you can use them for montages or whatever. And then you can still stream obviously with your overlays and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to get this going. Hope you guys stick around. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any other questions, you know, please let me know. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys. So to get started, you're going to want to open up your Elgato recording software and pull that up. Just give them a second. All right, let me drag it over here so you guys can see this. So if you guys want to see my settings quick, um, this doesn't really change much. Oh, actually, let me just turn this on real quick. But uh, settings are pretty standard. Um, PlayStation 4. I have it around better. Um, you know, I have all this stuff on. I haven't changed anything in picture or the audio gain or anything else. Uh, that's it. Right? Yeah. All the same, yeah. So, yeah, that's it right there. And then now we're gonna open up Streamlabs OBS. All right, so, drag this over here. All right, so what you guys are gonna want to do is we'll just start off with a new scene. Um, all right, so first, to get your game capture, you're gonna want to do window capture instead of yeah you're gonna want to do window capture instead of game capture or display capture or whatever you guys use or video capture device so you go to window capture and then i already have it as an existing source but when you go to add new source it's gonna show your elgato program that you can click on but you're just gonna click um elgato window capture xbox whatever whatever it's set to so you go add new capture now the cool thing about this is what you're gonna do to keep this in the frame is you can either use alt to cut it so you can cut what the window is capturing you can also hold shift to like drag it out of um, out of this fixed ratio that it's in but so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take alt and go and start with whatever corner you prefer but I was I don't know I start with this corner and just trim it down you know to where it's like just a screen Drag it up to the top corner. Drag it all the way down. It's not gonna fit perfectly, but you can get it pretty close. Um, and then there you go. That's how you get your game to record your screen capture, just like that. And then you know you can go to World War II, whatever. And then you guys can obviously, you know, like add in, you know, your sources and stuff over that. And then you can just go back to Elgato and record this way right here. And you have your clips without the overlay. And then you can still live stream. So yeah. Pretty easy. Not too bad. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. I hope it helps you guys out because I know I got a lot of questions about it. If you guys have any other questions, please comment below or DM me on any of my social medias and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, it's about to be a really crazy week, especially with BO4 dropping. So definitely uh, definitely get ready for a lot of changes. I'm going to be uploading probably two to three times a week now. Um, I have a grind squad that's coming out with a lot of content. I'm going to link their links in my video that's coming out on Thursday with uh, my favorite clips and top clips from World War II. And I'm gonna have a video explaining all my future goals and plans for BO4 and all the stuff we're gonna get into. So that's really cool. I'm excited for the future. I hope you guys are too. Uh, Twitch is gonna pop off. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that, especially with you know Blackout coming out. And I'm looking to compete in that and hopefully we get to, uh, get to, get to some crazy competitions. I'm, I'm freaking excited. But uh, yo, thanks for all the love guys. Really appreciate you all. Um, hope to see you guys soon. Alright, have a great day. Peace. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. It's really not that bad. It's pretty simple. It helps you, uh, you know, do a lot of stuff really quickly. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. What does that even mean?